A painful reminder of what some sacrificed to serve our country. A young Marine from St. Charles County makes his final journey home. Thousands waited at the airport and lined the highway in his honor. And we have team coverage tonight of the homecoming for Lance Corporal Jared Schmitz. The 20-year-old Marine was killed by a terrorist bomb during the final hours of America's evacuation from Afghanistan. And Fox 2's Mike Colombo was at Lambert when his landing was greeted by Marines, first responders, and the Patriot Guard. But we start with Andy Baker, who stood along the processional route and witnessed the somber but touching show of patriotism. Andy. Yeah, Vic, from this sea of flag in the lawn outside Bowie Funeral Home to the sea of flags and faces and signs that people were holding along the route from Lambert Airport to here, it's really almost been overwhelming to take it all in. And for everyone who was part of it today, that was kind of the idea. I was out cutting grass and my wife told me that uh, they were doing this, and I said, let's get in the truck. Let's go. At the first Capitol Drive overpass alone, a couple hundred others dropped what they were doing, too. Pam McCarthy is a dear friend of Jared Schmitz's grandmother, DJ. They are co-workers at Phoenix Textiles, which provides linens for U.S. military hospitals at home and abroad. This flag means something. It's out of the ashes. The Phoenix bird arises, and... Um, we're proud of Jared, we're proud of DJ's service to the military, and uh, our whole Phoenix team is very proud of, of both of them. It really is echoed here today that all of these people would come out and just show their gratitude for what their son has done. Their son, a Marine Lance Corporal just shy of his 21st birthday, killed in the suicide bombing at the Kabul Afghanistan airport August 26th, giving his life for the evacuation of fellow Americans and Afghan allies. It's a world away from home, where he had graduated from Fort Zumwalt South High School just two years ago, and where people did more today than just talk about supporting our military families. They lined the entire 12-mile route from the airport to the funeral home. The St. Charles County Police stood at attention on the interstate. St. Charles firefighters saluted from above, and a woman from his hometown held this sign. I had it in my yard for a while with 13 flags around it, and then today I took it out to bring it here. He is in heaven. There's no, there has to be no doubt about that. He's, you know, he's a hero. Yeah, it was really stirring and pretty emotional just standing on that overpass. I hadn't seen any of our exclusive aerial footage from Bomberito Automotive Group Skyfox until just a few minutes ago. That scene where everything arrived here was amazing. If you missed any of it, we have it for you on our website. You should take a look. It was certainly a day to remember in St. Louis, St. Charles County, really the entire region. We're live in St. Charles. Andy Banker, Fox 2 News. Yeah, very important for all of us to stop and remember. Well, we continue our team coverage now with Fox 2's Mike Colombo, who was at Lambert when the remains of Lance Corporal Jarrett Schmitz arrived. Of all the planes coming and going from St. Louis Lambert International Airport Wednesday, this arrival just before one o'clock brought a crowd of hundreds. We come with humble and contrite hearts for our uh, magnificent Marine and his family, Lord. That Marine is 20-year-old Lance Corporal Jared Schmitz of Wentzville. Schmitz was one of 13 U.S. service members killed August 26th in a terror attack outside the Kabul airport in Afghanistan. Just the least we could do for this family. Rodney Bledsoe is the assistant state captain of Missouri Patriot Guard Riders. You'll notice you walk around here and you see that people, they're, you know, their hearts are broken and everybody's grateful that they are here to support this uh, grieving family. We watched as a Marine Honor Guard carried Schmitz's body into a hangar for a private family moment. Moments later, the casket emerged and was loaded onto a Humvee to begin the eight-mile journey to the funeral home. The procession started with the Patriot Guard riders leading the way. Once clear, Lance Corporal Schmitz's casket continued along the route, being saluted as it passed. Army Sergeant First Class Correa Leonardo Rodriguez and Juliet Rose Brooks positioned themselves along the procession route to pay their respects to a fallen comrade a loss that hits close to home. When a soldier goes down, it's really hard. And as a veteran myself who has been there, 
and came back home safe. It's hard considering we are closed now and this happened. It's really a tragedy. We have a bond regardless of our um, military affiliation, meaning our branches or whatever, to just basically be here and show that respect for the family and for the military in general. Dozens of first responders from across Missouri and Illinois followed the casket onto the highway. Drivers on I-70 stopped in both directions to pay their respects as the motorcade passed. You know, we kind of all want to go over there, do our time, and, and make it back home safe to our family. So it's unfortunate that um, Corporal Schmitz wasn't, you know, fortunate enough to do that. A heartbreaking homecoming for a hometown hero. A life lost in service to his country. A sacrifice we'll never forget. I'm Mike Colombo reporting. And a public visitation is being held for Lance Corporal Jared Schmitz this Saturday, September 11th. The public is welcome to come to Bowie Funeral Home in St. Charles County, Cave Springs to be exact, to pay their respects from 3 p.m. to 10 p.m. A private funeral service will be held Sunday before the burial at Jefferson Barracks National Cemetery next Thursday.